Assalamu alaikum, welcome to another episode of Getting to Know. I'm your host, Hisham Izzuddin. Today I'm really excited to bring you Imam Fahd Muhammad, one of the youngest Imams in our community. He connects amazingly with the youth. And while you think he was from Somalia, he's not. Find out when you listen to this episode. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Welcome, welcome. We are in the house. Uh, welcome to uh, you know our Getting to Know show. Alhamdulillah. Um, Glad to be here. Your name? Uh, Fahd Muhammad. Where are you from? Where did you grow up? I'm born in Ethiopia, raised in Seattle. How about Ethiopia? I want to know more. How long were you there? Maybe until I was like four years old. The village that I'm from is it's called Bale. Why do everybody think you're Somali? I look Somali. My wife is Somali. Because of that, people think I'm Somali. But you don't speak Somali. I don't speak it, no. Favorite thing to do as a kid? Sports. Actually, basketball, soccer, that's it. What was your favorite class in, in school? History class. Dream job when you were a kid? Pilot or astronaut, one of those. Dream job now? Just being able to spend time learning, that would be the dream job right there. Would you like write books then? Eventually, when I feel like I have, I've learned enough to give back. Where did you go to college? I went to the University of Washington here. Uh, also some time at Azhar. Favorite hobby? I would say probably reading. Favorite movie? I would say Black Panther. Even if the movie might not be that great, just that feeling around it was something else. What job you would be terrible at? Probably doing this interview. Right? Being someone that always has to get on the camera and talk. What skill would you like to master? Horse riding and archery. If I could master those skills, I would love it. If you could turn any activity into an Olympic sport, what activity you would have a chance in winning a gold medal in? Maybe khutwas. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. Somebody you would want to have dinner with that are alive. You know, this goes back to uh, uh, you know, the statement of Abdullah ibn Abbas. He says, if you want to follow a people, follow the people that have passed away. So because of that, I don't feel like there's anybody I would really benefit that much from sitting with them and having dinner. Tell me about, you know, some personal rules that you never break. To never speak without knowledge or to not answer questions without knowledge. Where are some of your pet peeves? I actually don't have any. Okay, top thing on your bucket list. It is to be able to one day leave this place, begin at Masjid Al-Aqsa, go to Medina, then go to the Mecca, perform Umrah, and then go back to Medina, go back to Aqsa, and then come back here. Hardest part of your job? Dealing with, with, with a lot of personal issues with the people, seeing the type of struggles that people go through, and not really being able to help outside of just giving them advice. Favorite thing about Islam? And it gives you a purpose of life. What's your favorite surah? And I am. There's a verse in there where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says that we save you from all of the trials that you go through. That say Allah is the one that's going to save you from this calamity. And every single one, this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that has put me in this place, that has put me through this trial, and he's the one that's going to get me out of it. Favorite hadith? That all of our deeds are going to be judged by their intentions. There are good things that you intend, but the result doesn't get you there. But just knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going, regardless of how you try to do it, your intention is what is going to matter. Favorite dua? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us you know, on a straight path. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? Like, do not misguide us after you've guided us. Favorite party? If I want to enjoy the Quran, I listen to Khalid Husri. If I want to hear a good voice, Sa'ad Al Ghamidi. Favorite dish? For some reason, I yeah, I don't have a favorite dish. Most embarrassing moment? 14, 15. The food didn't set well, and I threw up while standing. What are the words? Oh, in the masjid? In the masjid, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's really bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Most favorite book? It would most likely be to see in Kathir. Second favorite would be the Isha of Sahih Muslim by Imam Nawawi. If you were to have a superpower, which one would you choose for yourself? 100% flying. If you could turn into an animal, which one would you be? The East African in me wants to say, I want to turn into a lion, but I would say maybe a gray wolf. What advice would you give yourself at the age of 15? I don't know if I would listen. <laughs> That's to Bravo, right? So yeah. start learning about Islam now. Dedicate your life to the Asala. That would be the advice I'll give my 15 year old uh, If you were to write a book, what would it be about? How can you have the best Ramadan, right? How can you fully take advantage of Ramadan? So just practical advice on making, you know, the most of Ramadan. If you had one day to live, yeah. what would you do? I would go back to Seattle, spend time with my family, just be next to my mom, my dad, and ask them to make da'a for me, and just be good to them while I can. How would you describe yourself in one word? Most likely smiling. If you were an ice cream flavor, which one would you be? I mean, I love vanilla. And then maybe with a little bit of, you know, some Oreo cookie. What is your biggest regret in life? There shouldn't be anything that we regret. 
Where are you most afraid of? I am most afraid of all of my works going to waste. Not doing this for the right purpose. What's your most favorite name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah. It is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of the other names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again are beautiful. We say these are the names of Allah. Allah's 99 names. Your second favorite name? Hayyul Qiyu. The everlasting and uh, ever living. How would you want to be remembered? Hopefully as someone that impacted you know, the people that are remembering me. Has some type of good impact. Let's just take, I want to take some selfies like we did last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, we'll yeah, transition over there.